<laughs> now I know you can already see the title of this video and I don't want to try to put the reasons in your head of why you should like Heavy. This is why I like Heavy, and everyone's going to have their own reason for liking a class, especially in TF2. And I have my reasons for liking the Heavy I'm going to talk about in this video, how I got into Heavy, and why I enjoy playing it. Because I know a lot of people like to get flack to the Heavy, they don't like playing it themselves, just because of how easy it is. And despite its simplicity, I still stick with it, I still really enjoy it, and I still think there is skill to it, as I've explained in a past video. So I never really even used to play Heavy. When I was playing on pubs before I even started with Competitive, I never really played Heavy. It was one of my least played classes. I think my most played classes were... Um, Sniper, Spy, Engineer, uh, Soldier... I basically played everything except Demo and Medic, I think. Um, but I would never really play Heavy at the time. So back in February 2014, which is almost a year ago, I was on a Badwater pub, much like uh, the one that you're seeing right now. Well, <laughs> it's a lobby that you're seeing now, but I was on a pub. And I was top scoring, I don't mean to brag, but, you know, I was top scoring. And uh, I was top scoring with two other people, one on my team, one on the other team. One of those two people was Marissa from Menace to Society, plays UGC Platinum Highlander. And we were just talking, I didn't even know who she was. We were just talking, she was playing Sniper. Uh, during our small talk, we just happened to bring up, I guess, competitive, because she was actually warming up at the time uh, for a match. And we talked a little bit, I found out what competitive was. And I remember thinking, wow! That's really cool, I want to do that. Because at the time, I had been playing TF2 for like six years, and I just really needed a change of pace, because I had been playing pubs, I've had friends, and I played with them, and yada yada, but for six years, it's fun, but you really need something new. And I thought, competitive, well, why don't I give that a shot? And the other person at the time who I was talking to, who was in the top scoring thing, his name is Ice Devil. And he was playing Medic at the time, I was playing Heavy, and a few minutes into the game that we're playing, he's kind of pocketing me, and he says, Wow, Rondego, you're really good Heavy. And I said, Well, thank you, I was humbled, and it was it was cool. Uh, and we were talking, turns out he was also involved in competitive, and he had actually offered me to talk to his leader to be a part of their team. So I've been playing Heavy ever since, and I've never stopped. I've been playing for three seasons, I've never really had a moment where I said, Wow, you know, I might want to play something else. Because I've played other... Oh, that's soda can. Because I've played... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, blooper. You know what, I'll keep this in. I've played other classes in lobbies, and they're all missing something that really appeals to me about Heavy, which is consistency. So... There are other classes that are more consistent, so if you start playing Soldier, maybe Pyro, or Medic, those are more consistent classes where you can kind of get in, they're relatively simple and you can know what to expect, but when you start getting into Spy and Sniper territory, those come down to kind of like play-by-play -play moments. And some days you have good days, some days you have bad days, some days you're hitting your shots and backstabs, and other days you're just not hitting anything, and I know the feeling, because I've played in lobbies when you're walking from your spawn to maybe your sniper in the front lines, you don't make your shots, you die, and you just repeat that over and over, it punches your morale right in the gut. And I bring up those two classes in particular because I like to play those classes mainly in pubs. And I've tried them in lobbies, I've tried to transfer them to lobbies in competitive, and it just doesn't work for me. Because the lack of consistency, the feeling that you get when you're not having a good day, it crushes me, and some people like it, I personally don't. I like the consistency. And that's actually a good thing because it leverages another reason why I enjoy the class. Because of how simple it is mechanically, because of how consistent it is between games, one of the other nice things about playing Heavy is you're a core member of your team. Just out of the nine classes, the composition, you're at the core of that, as I've explained again in a past video. And all those things that I've just mentioned combined allow you to really focus more on your team than on yourself. You're really a team-centric class. And I like that. I like the idea of having a cohesive team, because that's the whole reason I joined competitive. I joined competitive not to get medals and to prove that I'm the best. I'm not the best heavy. I'm not the best TF2 player. I've been playing for six or seven years, probably like seven years. I'm not the best, but I have a hell of a lot of fun doing it. And for me, that's what counts. I have a lot of fun, and I really enjoy the game and enjoy the competitive TF2 thing, the whole thing, when I'm helping my team to do well, to have fun, to succeed in the games, to win, to always be improving, and to know that my team is having just as much fun as I am right there with me. Can other classes do that? Sure. But it just seems natural for a heavy, you know? It just seems natural to me, and that's really what's kept me with it. 
Now this video was really meant for people who are just getting into competitive, who are being asked that question, oh, like, what do you want to main, or what's your main, and you have no idea what to say, because you don't know yet. Well, I play heavy. You know that already. This was just kind of like my rabble-dabble, my opinion on, uh, on playing heavy, because I know people don't really understand the appeal. That's my appeal, and like I said, it's going to be different for everybody, but regardless of that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I plan on putting out more eventually, so stick around for that if you're interested, and I will see you guys in the next one.